So, bang stop, hey? 60. I will talk into the microphone, bang stop. Is that better? Yes. Can you hear me? No. Apparently, you can hear me now. Hear me now. 60 years. That's 500,000 hours. Thank you, Kim, for pointing that out to me. Of being Lord Professor Fang. Thank you, Mr. Sly, for coining that phrase. Seems to have stuck. So I want to give a few thanks. First of all, to all of you for coming out. From our newest friends, Donna and Craig, right through to the oldest. Baden, Adrian and uh, Rob from kindergarten and school. Great that we're still hanging about. Also, thanks to the Garden of Tonkin family for this wonderful venue up here. We've had a bit of fun ourselves up here and watched our kids get up here. Marvellous thing for local South Australian music. So thank you. Here, dear, dear, dear. And of course, the most special thanks is to the wonderful Andy over there. My very own Andy. She's the one who did the hard work on Bookface, reaching out and getting you all here with the ridiculously complicated arrangements with COVID rules and sitting and dancing and sitting and dancing and standing and whatever we have to do. I'm still confused. Although I think there will be a wedding shortly so we can dance, I'm told. <laughs> no, unfortunately we can't. Um, and the two most special people she got here, my lovely daughter who's come all the way from the country, and my son who's whizzed in this morning from Sydney, not in Zoom for once. It's a lovely thing. So, does anybody recognise this tune? <laughs> what year does it commemorate? Ah, oh, close, but no cigar. 79, 79. That is the one. That's a big year for me. 79. So, have you heard what Mandy bought me for my birthday? Not just that ridiculous skateboard, but... Where is our, our phone? Glamping, oh, not in the weekend, glamping. No, no, she bought me a square foot of land in Scotland over <laughs> which I am Lord. <laughs> so, it's a slightly Lord Professor Fang, you do have to call me Lord. <laughs> and uh, as most of you know, in 1979, I took a bit of a trip into Rundle Mall one Friday night, and I was challenged to um, acknowledge Jesus Christ as Lord, which is something I did that very night. And what you see in front of you here, the love that we have with our kiddies and wives and all of you guys, is kind of 40 years of wear and tear on that rather interesting encounter outside Burke's the Chemist in 1979. So there you go. Now, I'd like to give some musical thanks. You're going to get a potted history of my musical career, whether you like it or not. Now, are there any Maitland Primary School people in the audience? Who remembers Harvey Charlesworth banging out the school anthem on the piano? It contained the phrase, all around is as you're bright, blending and witching in harmony. And I think to this day when we see sunsets, we think of old Harvey. Uh, the next encounter was with a guy called Murray Thompson. This is your cue, Jamie, to change songs. This being the first <laughs> song I ever played in public. So my year 11 physics teacher, Murray Thompson, who would have been here tonight, but unfortunately he's on Kangaroo Island and it was a bit of a challenge. He got me to play this thing called Pipeline in front of the year 10 assembly. I was shitting myself, but we got through it and it wasn't too bad. Then after that, we used to jam with a guy called Tony Burnett, who I hope is here somewhere. He's over there, AKA the visitors who, if the technology gods have blessed us, will be seeing some of his audio-visual feckery very shortly, some lovely little ditties. And we used to play Paul Orch's Shed on out-of-tune, cheap guitars, but with some very noisy, tasty pedals. Uh, Tony still does that. I've tried to go effects-free this evening, but we'll see how we go. Then we got on, there was a guy called Nick Menzies, who happened to be in Burke's The Chemist that fateful night in 1979. 
He rocked up to Mrs. Koenig's place in a pair of Ugg boots and we butchered, sweep out the old John B by the Beach Boys. That's probably my first attempt at playing a song. Thankfully that didn't go anywhere. Then we had Steve Hunt and the Circular Jams. And of course his family, Max and the kids. Many and many a happy time going round and round in circles up at the block. Lovely, lovely, lovely. And then we would make a bit of noise at Wallaroo, uh, I believe, on a drum kit and some guitars. And then the Emmanuel School's music department kind of turned things on their head. Turned this guy into a real musician and this lady into a, a delightful singer, giving them all sorts of awesome musical opportunities, gigs outside the school, some in this very room. Uh, probably the most memorable for me was the Jade Monkey in the city when it was in Twin Street. And I think a lot of you guys are here from the Emmanuel days, raising our kids together, doing all that stuff. And uh, sneaking our kids into underage venues, Mr Sly and I used to sit there, tap on our feet, thinking when are they going to finish? And we said, you know, we used to play music, why don't we claim some of this back? So I had a rehearsal room in, uh, in Malcolm Street, and that very tolerant neighbour, David, put up with a whole bunch of noise over decades, and thank you so much for that. Uh, we owe you, yes, very much so. And, very much so. And, you know, with the right wine and the right lubricant, bands eventually formed. And Rob and Steve from the Geezers, that's where that all became a nucleus. Then uh, later on, the industrial chaplain, Paul, who's here, who will be featuring this evening. And unfortunately, Nick, who's in Sydney, couldn't make it. Uh, that became a thing. And uh, then, thanks to the Charlie Melton wine brand, the Nine Popes were born on the back of a truck at Barossa Vintage Festivals. And you may get a little taste of what they can or can't do this evening. <laughs> and with that, I would like to thank you for your attention. Um, we might do a little bit of noodling before the break. Mr. Sly is going to make a bit of an official announcement for the punters a little bit later. We might do a song. So it's customary every decade for me to throw a bit of a party like this. And the last one was in our backyard again with our insufferable neighbours putting up with it. And we always play this song that we're about to do. Wow! So a few seconds to get the technology right. Charge your glasses. Lubricate your minds and we will get started. Mm -hmm.
Feeling small when 
Fantastic night. Enjoy. Bring it on. <laughs> 